You know what's worse than fake news? Bad news. I'm E Fish, and I'm going to change that with the Conservation Wind Show brought to you by Aquaparel. In each episode, you will learn about the amazing people who are doing some extraordinary work in order to restore and conserve our environment. In this episode, a massive coral reef is found 3.7 miles off of the Great Barrier Reef. During the week of October 26th of 2020, Australian scientists found the detached coral reef, which exceeds the height of the Empire State Building and the Eiffel Tower. This is the first discovery of its kind in over 100 years, and it is huge. At just over one third of a mile tall and just under one mile wide, the blade-shaped reef lies about 131 feet below the surface of the ocean. So how did this discovery come about? Well, on October 20th of 2020, a team of scientists from James Cook University, led by Dr. Robin Beeman, were mapping the northern seafloor of the Great Barrier Reef on board the Institute's research vessel, Falcor, when they made the discovery. The reef was found thriving with a blizzard of fish and a healthy ecosystem, according to Dr. Beeman. Using the underwater robot known as Subbastion, the scientists filmed their exploration of the new reef, collecting marine samples along the way. Using the underwater robot known as Subbastion, the scientists filmed their exploration of the new reef, collecting marine samples along the way, which will be archived and placed in the Queensland Museum and the Museum of Tropical Queensland. The discovery comes after a study earlier in October of 2020, which found that the Great Barrier Reef had lost more than half of its coral in the last three decades. Although the northern section of the Great Barrier Reef suffered from a bleaching event in 2016, Dr. Beeman said this detached reef didn't display any evidence of damage. Since this reef is likely millions of years old, it may hold some vital information about the history of the coral reefs in the area. This information may be vital in helping us to better understand things like bleaching events and maybe even the factors that caused them before humans even roamed the earth. If you like my work and you want to support what I'm doing, do me a favor and like and share this video. It really helps me out. You can also support my work by heading over to conservationwindshow.com to donate and get some exclusive content, gear, and other perks. If you want your work to be featured in an upcoming episode, please send me an email at wins at conservationwindshow.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.